Have you ever worked with an Excel workbook where you have a series of columns of data and those columns are not wide enough so you don't see all the data? So you then go and you manually make them each wider and adjust them a little bit until you see everything nicely. Well, there's actually a quick way that you can uh, do that in Excel. All you need to do is highlight everything. So click on the top left corner of Excel. You highlight everything. On any of these column divider lines, just double click. Once you do that, the columns adjust automatically to show the biggest or the longest value in each of those columns. Now, also, if you want to quickly adjust a few columns at the same time, maybe you want to make them a little narrower or a little wider, you can simply select the columns that you want to adjust. And uh, to, to do that, you just, you know, do the left mouse click on the uh, column header or the cell header, and you just, you know, drag it and then release the left mouse button when done. Now you can uh, go to one of the divider lines. Let's say we want to use uh, column I and we want to make all three columns the same width and we want to make it a little narrower. You just, you know, click again, left click on that divider and now adjust that column width to the width that you want. Once you release, all three columns reflect the same width or assume the same width. If you keep the control key in your keyboard suppressed, you can select columns that's not adjacent to each other, like that. And then you can release the control key and then adjust it again to the width that you want. And that's it. So you can also, just like you adjusted the columns, you can also adjust the row width. Now let's uh, do an example here. So if we have rows that's uneven in height, and let's do that by selecting the address line column. And I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to um, Format Cells. Alignment, I'm going to say wrap text like that. Now, this is a problem if you quickly want to, you know, get all these rows uh, to just have the same even height. You don't care too much about not showing everything in the column, like maybe it's a, a column that contains notes. You just want to show a little bit of that. It's more important to have the even format. Uh, going through each one of these rows one by one and adjusting the height would be a problem. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that. So simply select all by doing the top left corner click. And then just take one of your rows and adjust the height to the desired row height. And there we go. All of them are now adjusted. Now notice that uh, if you do the alignment uh, the wrap text, uh, you know, format cell change on one of these columns, like I did in column I. Um, first, the rows expand to show everything because it's wrapping the text. Now you can make the row height even and reduce the row height again. But now it shows address line 2 as a clean column. So this doesn't just spill over to this uh, cell because there's no value in this. So that's it. Um, it's something that I use a lot and I recommend that you use that too. Um, use Excel ergonomics is what I call it, ergonomic use. Um, if you have the ability to use a built-in feature in Excel to make it easier for you to do little things like adjusting column width for display purposes or row height, um, certainly do that. It will save you a bunch of time.